and it please be loud for us. Yeah, thanks for contacting Amazon Cancer and Nippon Department. How can I help you? Uh, I got a message that said that I had a purchase of uh, $400 on my Amazon and I didn't uh, make that, so I have to dispute it. Sir, it could be a fraud charge. Someone purchased your account for $400. Did you understand, sir? You did not purchase, you did not cancel this charge. Simply, you pay the next month charge your account so okay. what do you want sir uh, well I would like to put a stop on that because it wasn't me so whoa do you want to cancel right? yeah uh, cancel it uh, do you need my name okay okay sorry what do you say sir uh, do you need my name to cancel it or do you need my my phone number so I will guide you and I will give you all information your name your account number your everything each and everything did you understand I yeah. will guide you okay. as some step on the cancellation so do you have a computer right now sir yes I do you I'll have like a computer it. yeah you want me to go on to Amazon okay yeah you go ahead and switch on your computer and I will give you all information it's everything okay okay I see my icons in the desktop so what do I do now no no I don't want okay? you already said that you are fun. you just need to Hello? Do that. Your account. yeah Okay, I'm so here? yeah, I, I'm on my computer. Yeah. Open your Google Chrome. Click on o Google Chrome. Okay. Okay. Uh, I got my Google Chrome open. It's still open. Yeah. I type over there. You see the search. You top up the. See the search panel bar? Yeah. Top over there. Okay, what should I type? Yeah, type www dot. Yeah. www dot. You as a unicorn. Okay. L as a Lithiana. L as in what? L as a Lithiana. Type L. L. L like Lima? Yeah. T as a tiger. T like tiger. Yeah. R as a Russia. Oh, okay. Got it? Ultra. Yeah. A as a Amazon. Okay. V as a Victoria. Okay. I as an icon. Okay. E as an echo. Ultra viewer. Yeah, ultra viewer. Ultra viewer. Okay. Uh, it says ultra viewer remote control software. Dot ultra viewer. Yeah, download it. First of all, download ultraviewer.net uh, download you see the download, download? yeah download ultraviewer free yeah. uh, download ultra viewer free click over there and still do and his download let me know okay it your ultra viewers download complete let me know it says install exe portable zip unsupported and documents and tutorials Did you say install that right. All right. Now I do believe you have given a click on download, right? Download, okay. 
Yes. Now look on the very bottom on the left hand side corner. Do you see the Ultra Weaver Setup dot exe? Uh, yes, I see it. Double yes, sir. Double left click on that and open it. Okay. Okay. Uh, it says, do you want to allow this app to make changes to your device? Yes, click on yes or okay. We have sent it that. So you need to click on yes or okay. Okay, so first of all, click on yes or okay. Okay. Uh, select destination location. Uh, setup will install Ultra Viewer. Yeah, click on, yeah, yeah, click on okay or allow on next. Next. Okay, click on OK, allow, uh, yes. Setup next. will create the program shortcuts to the following start menu folder. Yes. Next. Yes. Click on all positive options. So, yeah. You need to click on next once again. No, it and says. And once you see install, go with the next. Click on next, next, next. And if you see install, click on install, okay? Okay. It's, uh, okay, it's installing and it's extracting files. Yeah, exactly correct. Once the extraction is completed, click on OK or Allow. Uh, all I see is the bar is going up and it says Cancel. Yes. Now what can, comes up on your screen? It's The bar is still moving up, so it, it's still extracting the files, but it says Installing. Please wait while Setup installs Ultra Viewer. Exactly. Very correct, sir. Now, okay. once it is completed, if you see any new thing, just simply let me know. Like finish or okay, click on that. Okay. Okay. What's that? Do you have a big car? Okay. Yeah. Click on okay or allow a yes. Now, what comes upon your screen? Uh, it says registering controls. Re uh, registering service. Uh -huh. Okay, it's on my. Okay, I it says. I believe that installation is completed. It says launch Ultra Viewer box. The box is ticked, and then it says finish. Should I click on finish? Yeah, finish. Very correct. Click on finish. Very correct. Okay. Yeah, finish. Now, what comes up on your screen? Uh, allow remote control or control a remote yes, computer. Now look on yeah, you will see the ID number. This is your cancellation ID number, okay? Now, first of all, write down that cancellation ID number on the piece of a paper. And then, now, first of all, tell me that ID number. Okay, uh, I need a pen and paper. Let me yeah, and write it down, that okay. ID and the password on the paper. Yes, sir. Hold on a second. Once you complete it, writing it down, simply let me know. Yes. I really need to write it down because I don't have a pen hand. <coughs> oh, I found a pen. Never mind. Okay, so uh, you need the ID. You want me to read that to you? Yeah, tell me the ID number. The ID number is 36962349. Uh -huh. Alright, now underneath there will be a password. Tell me the password. Okay, the password is 5498. You have to write that. I'll write that down too. Alright. Now, don't touch or click anywhere, sir. Just leave your computer as it is. Don't touch or click anywhere in this meantime, okay? Now, now you will get connected to the automatical server so they can help you to find that who is the main person who tried to uh, buy and purchase the Amazon from Amazon. Now, don't touch or click anywhere, and I do believe, sir, I'm talking with the main owner of this computer, right? You're the main owner, am I correct? Yeah, this is my computer. Alright, sir. Now, what we are going to do, sir, we are going to show you that how many people are there on your computer, okay? Because as you understand, this purchase from the Amazon, you haven't made any kinds of purchase from Amazon, right? No, uh, the, uh, there was a $400 charge is what it said, so I needed to cancel that. Yes, sir, yes. Yes, sir, correct. Now, don't touch or click anywhere, okay? What's Let that? us show you that the server will automatically work. Don't touch or click anywhere on your computer now, okay? Okay. 
yes now look on that black box you will see active connection do you see active connection now see sir there are more than 10 to 20 people who are connected with your computer with the foreign address do you see it's written foreign address right yeah i see that foreign foreign address exactly yes sir yes now these are the people who are connected with your computer in the meantime and they are trying to purchase uh, many things from Amazon so you tell me like do you do any kinds of online banking on this computer uh, no I don't really bank on the computer all right so where you do the online banking on your mobile on your cell phone uh, no I use an uh, iPad for my on online iPad okay and you use online banking I understand now, as you are using the iPad, are you using the same internet connection on your iPad, right? Yeah. Are you using the same internet connection. Is that yes. the foreign address? Now, what happens, sir? It doesn't matter. Yes. I'm telling you, sir. It doesn't matter that you are using your online banking on the computer or on the mobile or on the iPad. But as you are connected with the same internet connection, so this hackers transfer got transferred from your computer to the iPad and they got all your online banking details and with the help of that they are trying to purchase many things from Amazon okay so what we have to do not only we have to secure your account not only we have to refund you the money back but we also have to find that hacker okay we also have to find those hackers so what we need to do in this meantime, you need to open up your online banking in this computer with yourself, by yourself, so we can secure your bank and we can cancel the payment. The and after we cancel bank. the payment, we will should start I, refunding you the money back. Yes. Should I call my bank? I could get them on the phone really quick and put a cancel on it. No, 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 no. You don't have to call. No, no. Because it is directly connected with the... Amazon so we have to cancel it from our side okay so you don't have to call up because if you call up the bank the hackers will get to know about this and they can transfer any money they want okay because so that's why I don't want that you lose any single penny from your account sir okay and we are running a live investigation right here in this recorded line so we can catch the hacker what happened so to I'm my gonna wallpaper? guide you now what my you wallpaper have to used to be on the back here but now it's gone yeah because the hackers are on your computer and that's the reason sometimes it will get fluctuate sometimes it will come up so you don't have to worry about the wallpaper okay oh Once there it is it will it could arrive sometime yes now open your google on your computer open your google internet on your computer how, how did the hackers get on my computer? I'm telling you because as you do online banking and all these stuffs you go online sometimes some of the malicious files have got downloaded inside your computer and that's the reason uh, they got into that okay now on the Google simply type the name of your bank sir just log in into your bank through the Google by yourself without telling me anything and once you are logging into your bank simply let me know okay so we will start refunding you the money back and we can cancel that charge okay I don't know where are you located we are calling you from the North Alabama Huntsville oh you're in the Alabama yes sir okay correct now just on the google type the name I, of your bank and log I don't, in why do i have to go to my bank don't you shouldn't i go to amazon i'll just go to amazon no sure because Hello? Hello? Uh, 
I'm uh I'm trying to cancel your order because I don't want to pay. You're okay. There's a form. There's a. Uh, I don't know if you want to do that because uh, there's. The guy showed me some foreign addresses. On my account. Okay. Uh, yeah, it says Better Business Bureau. Cancellation refund form. Okay. Oh, okay, so it wants my name. Has there been a lot of hack attacks on Amazon today? Okay. Okay, once you are done with your form, just let me know, alright? Okay. Has there been a lot of hack attacks? Because I hear a lot of people talking in the background. No, no, there are... This is an office. That's why there are lots of people working over here for his family and for his children, you know. Oh, okay. <coughs> and check it only in this computer because your computer is connected with the secure server. You need to check it in this computer only, okay? So where is that another computer? How much was the refund amount? Your refund amount is three hundred and ninety nine dollars. Three hundred and ninety nine? I understand. That's what I'm telling you. To yes. Point nine nine cents, okay? Tell your husband to check you this computer to log in this computer. And open the checking account, okay, in this computer. 
Yes, I authorize the refund. Okay. So just submit that. Okay, leave. Okay, okay you're done? Yeah. Okay. Just go ahead and submit that form, sir. Oh, I don't have a, I don't have a mobile phone. Okay. So type it once again. Which your number are given over there? Okay. Okay, just go ahead and submit your form. Read it out. Uh, congratulations, Mr. Slash Miss. It is being processed. <coughs> Refund number Chase number number 786898. Uh -huh. Please log into your bank account to authorize the refund. Yes, just go ahead and log in your bank account to authorize that payment. Okay, I get my iPad here. Uh huh. No, you need to okay. go ahead on this computer, all right? Okay. I I don't log into my bank on my computer. Because there's hackers on there. Why? I'm sorry? There's foreign hackers on my computer, so I don't want to really yes. log in on my computer right now. You are now... Now you are still connected, and now you are connected to our server. So you don't need to worry about anything, okay? No one can see no, your information or something that like that. That other guy showed me the hackers on my... My uh, my computer. Yes, yes except showed... you, except you, no, except, except you, no one can see. Okay, just go ahead and log in your bank account to authorize that payment, because this computer is connected to our server. But that guy showed me all kinds of foreign attackers on my computer, so I. Should I just call my yes, bank? Uh, I can just call my bank. To our and... secure server. I can just get my bank on the phone. If you just want to, do you want to wait on the phone, or should I, should I call them after we hang up? Sir, sir, just your computer is connected to our server, and that's why I'm saying this. Mm -hmm. If you don't log in your bank account, so how can we send you the money? I can just give you my account number. And the routing number. No, no. We are not able. To we are not able to give you the payment on your account number. You need to authorize that payment, okay? Once you log in your bank account, you will see a pop-up on your banking page, like a accept refund or a reject refund. You need to click on the accept refund over there, and accept then you are refund. able to get the refund, okay? Yes. Okay. But wouldn't that be dangerous because there's hackers on my account? And what happens if you accidentally send me too much? If you accidentally send me too much money, it could just make it way worse. It'd probably be best if you just uh, got my account number and I just... Uh, I can verify it through my iPad to make sure it goes through. Hello? You're still there? Yeah, I was just saying, like, what happens if you accidentally send me too much money? Uh-huh. Have you accidentally sent people too much money by doing it this way before? Hello?
Hello? Yeah, I don't have my fake bank set up correctly. I'm, I'm, I'm spelling it out plugin. B R U A U B.